Now, all the sympathies in our world tend to go with the person who's been cheated on. I loathe that phrase, by the way, it's very pejorative. And that makes a lot of sense. If my trust has been betrayed by you, I am shattered, I am devastated. In fact, the symptoms of post-affair recovery for the person who's been betrayed or cheated on do resemble post-traumatic stress disorder. There can be re-experiencing, flashbacks, obsessing with images of you with that other person, um, all sorts of hypervigilant paranoia, and it all makes sense. I'm working with a couple right now who just finished the program. We're doing some continuing work on those things right now for the betrayed person. But there are very few sympathies in the world for the person that betrayed. Well, you're in the right place. If you're like half of the population in an affair where you're the one who stepped outside your better self, you're the one who betrayed your integrity and you betrayed a promise, you're a human being. Uh, Love the sinner, hate the sin is a phrase from the Christian faith, from the Buddhist faith. We all have greed, hatred, and delusion. We all mess up 